Hello there, welcome to Proper DIY. My name is Stuart, Stuart Matthews and today I'm going to be showing you how I mask off to be able to paint the skirting board rather than the carpet. So I'm just in the hallway of this apartment that I'm getting ready to do up, uh, to put it on the market. And one of my jobs here uh, is to paint the skirting just to give it a bit of a spruce up. Now, I've spent many years painting skirtings and from experience I can tell you it's very easy to paint the carpet rather than the skirting. So what I'm gonna do today is to show you how I mask to avoid painting the carpet and get all the paint on the skirting. So for this operation, something I have to tell you is that I don't actually use masking tape. I used to, but I found a cheaper way of doing it. And I'm sure all the painters out there will disagree with me and tell me I need to use masking tape. Now masking tape, I would suggest you need to use if you're painting over it, such as like around a window. Yes, you need to use masking tape, but really you could use duct tape. You could even use sellotape. What I found works best actually is packing tape. This is really, really cheap. It's nice and wide and it does just as good a job as masking tape. So let me just show you how I put this on. So first of all, I'm just gonna start from one corner and pull out some of this tape. And what I'm planning to do is to get the tape in between, obviously, the skirting board and the carpet. So I can use this putty type knife just to push it down all the way between the skirting and the carpet. And if you can see there, we've actually got a quite a nice distinction. Now this packing tape is not only putting a barrier between the skirting and the carpet, but it's actually pulling back the carpet so I can see further down to the skirting than I normally would. And once we paint and we take that away, the carpet will pop back into place and actually cover that little gap that you can to see. Obviously there's no restrictions on how many pieces of tape you can use. Rather than one long one, it might be better sometimes to use a section of many shorter pieces, but they must overlap obviously. So with my left hand I'm just pulling back and making sure that it's far enough away. Obviously with this knife just making sure it's not sticking to the masking tape but it's actually being forced and ends up sticking to the carpet and gradually you just sort of work your way along. So this is obviously fairly straightforward, it's a straight run and the more you do it the easier it gets and the quicker it gets as well. The more challenging one is going up the stairs, so let's go and have a look at that. So the challenge with the stairs is obviously A there's a lot more to do, you've got a lot more interface between the skirting and the carpet. You've got shorter sections which means a lot more bits of tape. Um, there's curves which makes it a little bit more challenging, however generally carpet on these risers tends to push in and we can use that to our advantage to actually get the tape even further in once we paint that and be masked by the carpet. So so yeah, starting with one of the normal treads. I like to use short sections of tape. It's easier to handle. I'm doing this around slightly the wrong way for the camera but essentially the same applies, forcing it down and making sure there's that gap between the tape and the skirting. Now when you come to the curves you really need to use more pieces of tape. Let's use this short section here. Just persuade that to go around that curve and just hide that carpet. As I said, the riser 
can be forced back somewhat because generally the carpet comes over the lip here and can be pushed back even further than on the rest of it. So that can get done not too bad. There we are. Just have to keep on going. So I must say that although it's a bit of a pain going around and doing all this masking up, especially on the stairs here, because it's a lot more complicated and it's not a five minute job, this must have taken me 40, 50 minutes. Although it is a bit of a pain, the painting goes a lot quicker because you're not worried about the paint going on the carpet. So you can paint with a lot more gay abandon. When I say gay, you know what I mean. You know. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please check out the other ones on my channel, which are videos, everything from changing the plug all the way through to building works and everything DIY in between. And if you're feeling really brave, please hit subscribe. So from a staircase where I'm gonna to have to watch where I walk for the next 24 hours, see you next time.